to look at a legal problem called populating nest right pointers in each node. Um, so I did the first question, LICO 116, in the beginner's um, BFS uh, video. Um, in that video, I basically talked about um, how to solve that problem using refer search or level or traversal. Um, and this question basically is a little bit different compared to that question or the first question because in this question, we're not given a perfect binary tree, right? Basically, perfect binary tree means that for each and every single node, we either have two children or we don't have any children at all, right? For each and every single node. But for this tree, it's not a perfect binary tree, right? You can see that this tree, this node right here has a right child but does not have a left child, right? Or there could be a situation where we have no child at all or just or just two children, right? So in this case, um, this is not a perfect binary tree, right? So you can see here that um, we basically want to um, traverse this tree, right? And we want to get each and every single node's, uh, the nest pointer points to the adjacent node, right? So it is still the same as the previous question, right? But the thing is that we, we were not dealing with perfect, uh, perfect binary tree anymore. And the question is that we want to use a constant space complexity to solve this problem. So you can see that this, in this case, this example right here, you can see we get each and every single node's right point, uh, in this case, the nest pointer points to the adjacent node, right? Node 2 point, node 3, node 4 point, and node 5, node 5 point, and node 7. And you can see that we can have, uh, we're guaranteed that we're going to have a tree, right? With less than six thousands of nodes, right? So there could be a situation where we have no nodes at all, right? So how can we be able to solve this problem? Well, to solve this problem, what we can do is we can do the same thing that we did in the previous question, but the previous implementation, we're using level order traversal, right? We're using a queue to get all the elements that we, all the elements that we're going to traverse, right? All the nodes that we're going to traverse onto a queue so that we just traverse that level by level, right? But the thing is that we're, that will not give us a constant time, a constant space complexity. So to do this using a constant space complexity, what we had to do is we have to use pointers, right? We have to use pointers to uh, build our list, or in this case, try to connect the uh, each and every single level using pointers, right? So how can we do that using pointers? Well, if we think about it, for this node, if I want to connect um, the, the children, right? In this case, what I can do is that I basically have to build a link list, right? To build a link list, we can just use the pointers to point these nodes, uh, points to the nest node, right? And what we can do is we can have a dummy node, right? Here, let's say we're, because we know that root level, there's no right pointer, right? There's no adjacent node. So we don't have to do anything for the root level, but for the children level, what we can do is we can have a dummy node. And initially we're gonna have a temp variable points to the dummy node. And then what's gonna happen is that if the current or the head node, which is the root, current root, right? Um, if the head node has a left child, right, which is which it does, we're gonna get temp is gonna to point to, so temp.nest is point to node two, right? Um, so that we get dummy node points to node two. And then what, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get temp is equal to temp.nest. So then we check to see if current, the head node has a right child. In this case, it does. Then what's going to happen is we're going to continue to build a list, right? Notice that this temp pointer is kind of like a pointer that basically builds, built the connection, right, for the nest level, right? And then um, what's going to happen is that we're just going to get uh, temp is point to node three. In this case, node two is pointing to node three now, right? And then what's going to happen is in this case uh, we're going to um, get the head node, right? Now we've successfully built this current um, subtree, right? In this case, this kind of like this small subtree. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna get, move, move the head to the JSON node. In this case, head.nest is null. So we know the head.nest is null. So in this case, what's gonna happen is we're gonna move on to the nest level, right? Because we already complete this, this level already, right? So we wanna move on to the nest level. And the nest level, how can we get it? In this case, it's basically dummy.nest, right? We already have a variable stores dummy.nest with just node two. So in this case, we're just gonna build the nest subtree. In this case, the nest subtree, in this case, we have dummy, which is have a dummy. Uh, in this case, we're gonna have temp point to dummy. 
uh, temp.nest is equal to uh, check to see if the head, right? And this is our new head now, right? Let's have a, let's write the head. So we have our head, right? And this head is pointing to node two and we have no, uh, this temp variable, right? This temp variable, uh, you can see, we're gonna point to node four, right? Because node, node two does have a, a left child. So we're gonna have temp is equal to temp.nest, right? So which is node four. And node four, in this case, we check to see if the, the head node has a right child. In this case, the head node does have a right child. So we're just gonna get temp is equal to head.right, so which is which is node five, right? And we of, of course we're gonna say temp.nest is you know head.right and then temp dot uh, temp is equal to temp.nest, which is no five. And then what's going to happen is we already complete this subtree, right? This small subtree. Then we're just going to get, we're just going to move on to the, the adjacent node, right? Which is no three. So what's going to happen is we already successfully traverse that. So we're going to get head is equal to head.nest, which is basically no three, right? We already formed this connection in the previous level, right? So now we're just going to move on to the adjacent node and then uh, trying to build our list from there, right? Try to build our link list. So now we have node three and notice that temp is still pointing to node five, right? So in this case, what's going to happen is we're just going to get um, node three, right? We check node three, this is our new head. So head.nest or head.left is basically null. Okay, so we don't do anything. So head.right is not null. So we're going to get temp, right? In this case, temp, we're going to get temp is if dot .nest is equal to uh, head.right. And then temp now should point to the, in this case, right, temp.nest is equal to head.right and temp is equal to head.right, which is no seven. And then we know that this is like the end. So we're just gonna get head is equal to head.nest, which is kind of like a null value. So we're just going to uh, move on to the nest level, right? We know how to do that already, like just what we did. So we just get, which is gonna say head is equal to dummy.nest, which is basically no four, right? We basically traversing its nest level, right? So this is how we basically use pointers to traverse um, to traverse the tree, right? We basically just forming, uh, we're just gonna to, going to build our link list, right? Basically, we're just gonna build our link list using a dummy variable and a temp variable, right? And this temp variable basically um, forms that connection, build the list, and then once we done uh, traversing the entire level, we're just gonna get head. Uh, this head variable points to the nest level, right? Which is dummy.nest, right? So let's take a look at how we can do this in code. Basically, it's pretty simple. Um, you can see we have a, a dummy variable, right? For each and every, every single iteration. Uh, we are going to say temp is equal to dummy. So like I said, we build the link list for our current level. Um, in this case, we check to see if head dot left does not equal null. If it is, we're just gonna say temp dot nest, which is before initially we're gonna have temp is equal to dummy, right? So temp dot nest is equal to nest, uh, is equal to head dot left. Temp is equal to temp dot nest, right? So in this case, we're getting temp is set to the nest adjacent node. Um, and then we also check to see if the, the current head dot right does not equal null. If it's not null, we're just going to uh, form that connection as well and then get a temp is point to the next adjacent node and then you can see that after we do the left we do the right we get head is equal to head.nest right because in this case previous level we already formed that connection but then if the head is null right if there's no more node that's the the current node's pointing to right so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to break this loop and once we break the loop we want to traverse the or in this case we want to start from the nest level, right? So we're gonna get head is equal to dummy.nest, okay? And then in this case, what's gonna happen is that for nest iteration, we same thing, we check to see if head is does not equal null, right? Um, and then in this case, we um, do the same thing, right? So we create a dummy, we have, a, we have temp is equal to the dummy, right? And do the same thing, right? And then at the end, we basically return the root, which is the head node. Uh, which is, sorry, which, yeah, which is the root node of the, the tree, right? So basically you can see this is how we solve this problem uh, using, well, the space complexity in this case is gonna be big O of one, right? Which is constant space complexity. And the time complexity in this case is gonna be big O of n, right? So linear time complexity 
for this algorithm. So there you have it and thank you for watching.